seatbelts are on. Fuel. Fuel shutter valve is on. Cycle corrective friction. Okay, rotor brake is disengaged. Circuit breakers are all in. Carp heat is off, unlocked. Mixture is full rich. Mixture guard is installed. Primer is not installed. Landing lights are off. Switches are off. Clutch is disengaged. Altimeter. Altimeter is roughly set. Governor switch is on. All right, so since this has not been run today, I'm going to give it three primes. Okay. One, two, three. Roll into the detent. Verify closed. All right, so battery and strobe switches on. Battery is clear. Clear. Okay, how do you read me? Got you loud and clear. Okay, good. I read you loud and clear. All right, so I'm going to wait for the clutch. Yeah, let's move this back a little bit. Okay. There you go. Okay, clutch light. Clutch light's out, so we're going to roll up to 75. Can I check the car repeat while we're waiting? Yeah. Okay. You won't see it as much, but you can... Uh, oh, okay, because it's not really warm. Yeah. But yeah, it's working. Should we start that clock or? I started that one. Oh, okay.
Okay, so we're in the green. So I am going to do the mag checks. Okay, so one, one thousand, two, one thousand, good. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, good. Turn back to boat. Carby checked out already. Okay, I'm gonna roll down, check the spray. All right. All right, got a good split. Okay, so the door is closed and latched. It's 22 degrees. So, I'm gonna say 22.7, 23.6. All right. So, concert pitch is off. All right. Governor is on. Okay, so I'm gonna roll up to All 80 right. and let the governor take over. All right, so fingernails up, I'm gonna lift up the collective off stop and I'm gonna roll down, check the lower order warning horn. Sounds good. I think it's good. It just, it just has to depress a, a switch. Okay, there's a horn. Put the collective down. Governor's taking over. All right. So, let's see. I am on... Uh, let's go get our units. Altimeter 3003. Zero, zero, three. RNAV DTS, runway 28 left approaching youth. Landing and departing runway is 28. Note airmen, check notes for cranes operating in the airspace. Use caution for increased wildlife activity on and in the vicinity of the airport. Central aircraft, hazardous weather information available on flight service frequencies. Advise on initial contact. You have Yankee. You have Yankee. Air Tower Information Yankee 1650 Zulu, wind 2507, visibility 10, ceiling 1700 broken, temperature 17, dew point 11, altimeter 3003, RNAV DTS, runway 28 left approach in use, landing and departing runway 28, no airmen, check notice for cranes operating in the airspace, these costs for increased wildlife activity on and in the vicinity of the airport. Okay, uh, so I'm going to do two-stage pickup. Okay. a little more up collective, we'll pull ourselves up and over these cones. All right, clear on my right. I'm gonna sidestep. I'm gonna give just a little curb heat for us, right. just to bump it up away from that icing raging. And let's go ahead and get left close traffic to spot Charlie. So we'll call him up, we'll tell him we're at Meridian with ATIS, and right. uh, request left close traffic spot Charlie. Hey, we're Tower Helicopter 479 or Sierra Hotel at Meridian. Request left close traffic to spot Charlie uh, with the Yankee.
helicopter 479 Sierra Hotel Hayward Tower. Uh, do you want to make uh, left traffic now, or do you want to hover taxi over to spot Charlie first? Let's make left traffic now. Left traffic for Meridian. Helicopter Niner Sierra Hotel, make left traffic for spot Charlie. Taxi to Azu be Meridian, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff for Meridian, uh, clear land at spot Charlie. 479 Sierra Hotel. time he called did you, he, not he, did not, he did not give you a landing clearance oh. the first time. But now you're cleared to land. And he probably just didn't say anything because he knew he was going to give you a landing clearance anyways. Alright, let's do a nice normal approach right. to a hover. Everything's looking great so far. We are only 50 feet below pattern altitude, that's just fine. Airspeed looks great where it is between 60 and 70. All right, so we do downwind check. So lights out top of the green. Green the green, fuel, and car feet. I'm going to pull full car sheet. All right. And here we're now, Malpo 379 or Papa, short of runway twin left, at the fence, ready for takeoff, right crosswind. Malibu 379 or Papa Hayward Tower, right crosswind approved, and below 1,500 until you're passing east of three crosses. And uh, runway right right 28 base. left, full length, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, point left, right cross will remain at a little bit tighter Malibu so we avoid the bubble. Malibu will this be below 1,500. Stay below 1,500, give me something better, Papa. Angle from here looks good. Speed is right where you want it to be. Avoid overflying the uh, 350. No, you're fine. He's over on the ramp. Okay. You can be on the taxiway. Okay. Get ourselves down a little bit quicker. We're just a little high now. And let's start to keep bleeding that speed off. Don't pull so much collective here. You see yourself leveling out really high. Now let's keep the helicopter walking forward so that we don't descend vertically. Alright, and we'll come to a hover. Alright, so most of that looked good. You saw in the second half of the approach, you ended up getting a little bit higher and higher and higher. Yeah. And that just had to do with two things. The first of which was that you didn't start slow, you didn't continue to slow down. You just kind of held 50 knots all the way up to the spot. Or at least once you got, until you got really close to the spot. And then you also weren't descending quite as fast as you wanted to be. Yeah. Uh, so you were just gradually getting steeper as we went. Um, so that can be fixed just a little bit more down collective and then just gently slow down. I'm guessing you might have gotten distracted by the other helicopter spooling on the ramp. Uh, but just you know, do your thing. You okay. own the whole taxiway. He's okay. off to the side so you don't have to worry about that. 
Um, and then, yeah, other than that, looks pretty good. We saw you initially went to go make your base turn just a little bit early, and then you delayed, and then you were a little bit late afterwards. So I, I'll point out the, the reference point I use on the next lap, and then we'll, um, we can just go off of that. But really, you just want to make that turn and end up just on the outside of the mobile homes. All right, let's go ahead and do one more normal takeoff, normal landing. All right. Uh, so let's request left close traffic spot, Charlie. Here, tell a helicopter 4790, tell head spot, Charlie, left traffic spot, Charlie. I guess he knows I'm at spot, Charlie. He does. You have to tell him where you are for the first call you make. But after that, he knows where you're at. Malibu 79er Papa, contact NorCal departure, good day. Contact NorCal 379er Papa. Helicopter 9er Sierra Hotel, make left traffic, spot Charlie, clear for takeoff, clear to land. Clear to takeoff, clear to land, left traffic, spot Charlie, 479er Sierra Hotel. Seneca, 2849 Papa, I'm back with Yankee. Seneca, 2849er Papa, Hayward Tower, welcome back. Make straight in runway 28 left. Straight in for 28 left, 49 Papa. Hayward Tower, Company, 6 single Make your pitch adjustments a little bit more, Charlie. It's, uh, it really doesn't take very much up and down at all to get the change you want. All right. Eagle 6, a squawk, a 5, 3, a 4, 2, across taxiway Zulu, the runway 28 left, right cross foot approved, runway 28 left, clear for takeoff. Squawk 3, 4, 2, and taxi into 28 left, right cross foot clear, Eagle 6. All right, lights out top of the green, green in the green, fuel, car and feet, full, full car and feet. Cool. I'm going to shoot for the blue building then. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, it's a, exactly what we should use. It's right around here, start the turn. All right, so clear left, center right, turning base. There we go. Perfect. Clear left, center right, train final. Eagle 6, contact Oakland Tower, 127.2, good flight. Eagle 6, switching 1276. should be just gradually working its way down and then just keep working that collective to track towards the spot and just gentle up as required just to keep the descent rate constant you'll need a little bit more as we lose our performance there we go looking a lot better All right. Looking good. Tell you what, take me back just a little bit. Right, give me a set down in spot, Charlie. Hey, we're tower. TBM 71 Echo Echo, 28 left at Alpha, ready for departure. TBM 71 Echo Echo. Just hold a steady tower. hover, and then once it looks good, we'll just lower it down. There you go. Nice. 
Okay, so let's do our max performance and steep approaches. So we'll start off here from the ground, and then we would check uh, our skids, make right. sure those are clear. Uh, so we're on asphalt, so they probably are clear. Uh, but if we're off airport, that would be a more specific check. We can check our max, so we want to be sure of our performance. We sure can check our max allowed. Yeah, what's our five minute power? Two eight left at Alpha, seven one echo. echo. I go, well, 22, I say 22.5. 22.5, 23.4. runway 2 left, clear to land, okay. after departing prior to your arrival so with TDM. 23.4 that we're going to pull to. Clear to land, runway 2 left, we're going to pull to. Clear to land, runway 2 left, we're going to pull to. Clear to land, runway 2 left, we're going to pull to. Clear to land, runway 2 left, we're going to pull to. Clear to land, runway 2 left, we're going to pull to. Clear to land, runway 2 left, we're going to pull to. Clear to land, runway 2 left, we're going to pull to. Clear to land, runway 2 left, we're going to pull to. Clear to land, runway 2 left, we're going to pull to. Clear to land, runway 2 left, we Go. Okay. Just get it nice and balanced, and then tiny bit down. All right. Doesn't have to be that much down. Just, oh, okay. just, just a little bit to leave it on the ground. Okay. Yeah. All right. Time to make call. Hey, we're Tower Helicopter Four Seven Nine Sierra Hotel. Okay. Spot Charlie. Plus left traffic. Spot Charlie. Seven Nine Sierra Hotel. Stand by. Standing by Four Seven Nine Sierra. No pull to the left. Just keep it. Where it is. There we go. It's important to hold that position because you want to come straight up when you pull. Seneca 49er Papa, just for my verification, uh, clear to land runway 28 left. Clear to land runway 28 left, 49 Papa. Thank you. Wind 290 at 6. Helicopter Niner Sierra Hotel, spot Charlie, clear for takeoff, clear to land, make left traffic. Clear to takeoff, clear to land, left traffic, spot Charlie, 479 Sierra Hotel. All right. Here we go. Contact NorCal departure, good day. So we'll pull. NorCal, have a good day, one echo echo. Slow down. Don't put that nose so far. You're feeling just for ETL, which you kind of, you're creeping up on it right here. And then just hold that airspeed, so just maintain the... Uh, Climb, working your way up. Don't go any faster than this. You got it right here. Nope, you want to hold 23.5. Yeah, so that's right up there. All right. Let's say we cleared our obstacle. All right. Now that nose comes down and we'll accelerate forwards. Nice. All right. So on that initial pickup, don't let the nose drop so much. Oh. Your goal is to get just barely to ETL and no faster. Okay. Um, so you really you minimize forward movement is what you want to do. Okay. Just enough to get that performance and then leave it there. I'll pull a little carb heat for you before that. Yeah, Papa, turn uh, uh, right at Delta. Cross. But after that, everything right, looked good. And then you can taxi right. straight ahead. We kind of feel point. right there after we after we got up. Right, kind of get that sensation, a little bit of vibration, and then yeah, you feel the climb rate increase right when we hit ETL. And you just want to hold right at that airspeed without going any faster. Let's set up for a steep approach. So we'll fly our normal approach profile, except that we'll just hold the helicopter at 400 feet. We'll wait until we see a nice steep approach angle, and then we will bring ourselves down after that. Alright, All right, lights out top of the green. Green the green fuel. Car feeds full, full car feed. All right, clear left, center right. Few are please. Altitude looks perfect for where we are. Angle is great. Airspeed also looks great. Uh, actually, I'm sorry. I'm talking about a normal approach. Let's hold 400, which you're doing. 
Good thing one of us is uh, on top of it. <laughs> and we'll come up here to this taxiway and then we'll start our steep approach. All right, here looks good. All so, right, yeah, initiate that. So push down, collect a little bit more, and then recline back into that steep approach. Nice. And now you just want to slow yourself down. The quicker you slow down, the more time you get to fly this approach. There you go. So you see how much steeper you're able to descend when yep. you're slow? That's what you want to see right there. So just hold outside ETL. This airspeed's perfect. And just adjust with collective on your way down to keep your descent angled at the spot. Now we are descending greater than 300 feet per minute right now, which is acceptable, but you just want to make sure that you don't lose ETL before arresting that descent rate. So we're just managing, and then we're going to swap one for the other once we get low enough. Might have made that just a little bit high, but keep uh, that power in now, and just walk it gently forwards. Eh, actually, that worked out great. Nice. Gently walk forwards. Use those pedals to stay lined up, gently walk forwards, and keep the helicopter lowering towards the ground. Let's go all the way to the ground. So just keep it gently walking forwards, and gentle down on the collective as you go. Walk it forwards, gentle down. Walk it forwards, gentle down. Keep pushing down. We're going all the way to the ground. Don't, don't pull back up. This ground effect will try and stop you the lower you get. There you go. Okay. So oftentimes on a steep approach, you want to practice going all the way to the ground just so you can, um, I mean, here there's, there's no relevance for it. But if we were, say, making a steep approach into an off airport location and we started getting brown out, you would want to oh, go okay. all the way through the brown out to directly to the ground that. without stopping the hover. And on the way in, it feels to me like your collective inputs are really um, kind of a, abrupt and a little bit jerky. I mean, they're not huge, but they're um, smoother. Yeah, to kind of smooth that out. It's more about like gentle up and down movements like that than it is about moving okay. it step by step. Okay. And then on the way in, uh, I felt you kind of pulling to hold yourself up off the ground. As you get closer to the ground, the ground effect will get stronger and stronger, so it just requires, you know, you can a little, like little bumps here and there just to keep the helicopter moving down okay. as you go. Gentle down pressures and movements. All right, so yeah. let's do just one more of those to lock that in. So okay. on, the, on the takeoff, all I want to see is a more vertical pickup and then work your way forwards into uh, ETL. Okay. And on the way in, the seat approach itself was great. Just on your way in, work, just don't stop in the hover, come all the way down through to the ground. Okay. All right. All right. My skid right. is clear. Okay, I'm clear. Temperature is roughly the same. Yeah. 20, uh, 23.5. All right. And then car peak down. Car peak is down. All right, lights on top of the green. Green cool. to green fuel. All right. Okay, we're going to go light. All right. I'm going to make a call. Yeah. Here we are, helicopter 479 or zero tell left traffic spot, Charlie. Cop 9 0 hotel, spot Charlie, clear for takeoff, clear to land. Clear takeoff, clear to land, left traffic, spot Charlie, 479 0 hotel. Alright. Okay. Nice. Now just a tiny bit of nose down, keep that power coming up to where you want it to be. There's that airspeed, you see how easy that comes in. Yeah. And now just hold this and climb. Just give me a little back pressure to avoid accelerating. There we go, keep that collective up, 23 and a half. So it's just you know, it's just a little bit below the red line is where it goes. Oh, okay. Awesome. Let's say we cleared our obstacles. Push that nose down. We'll keep the power up 23 and a half. Right there. And we are out and away. Nice job. That one looked great. Oh, okay, yeah, thanks. Yeah, so that was perfect. You see, it really doesn't take very much nose down at all to start right. getting that airspeed. It'll happen naturally with just a, a few degrees down. All right, clear left, center, right, turn left.
All right, lights out, top of the green, during the green, fuel, car repeat, <coughs> pulling full car repeat. Clear left, center right, turning left face. Speed just a little bit longer, so we'll come up a little on the collective just to keep it where it is. And let's start that same approach. Okay, I'm initiating. Yeah, so give me a down collective, back cyclic, bring that nose back, and down collective more through here. There you go, till you feel it start to sink. Now you just adjust and fine tune as you need to. Keep me tracking towards that spot. Heels to mic, we're going to overshoot a little bit. Fix that with some more down collective. Drop that helicopter down. All right, here we can start to make that transition. So it's going to be up collective first, then a gentle slow down, and now just kind of walk it forwards and down. Just hold on to those vibrations, and then bring the helicopter down a little bit more. You can do up to 300 feet per minute. Right now you're at 100. There we go. Now just keep it walking gently forwards and down. Gently forwards and down. Gently forwards and down. Keep pushing down that collective. Remember, don't stop in the hover. And there you go. So you saw you had a little bit of sideways movement there at the end uh, as you're just kind of drifting to the right. Yeah. Uh, generally, you want to avoid that, but just kind of bring it straight forwards. The, that looked fine. I felt like you accelerated a little bit at the very end of that. Going forward. Yeah, it's kind of like you're on your way in on the approach, going nice and slow, and you kind of leveled out and accelerated uh, before we then went and did the, the set down. Okay. Um, so it really is like you really are just skipping the hover. You just go straight through it. You never stop. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, because I was thinking I was going to hover. Yeah. All right. yeah give me a pickup here. And so we'll practice. Um, I should have a good idea for how to get that practice in. All right, remind me, did we do quick stops last time? Yes. All right, awesome. So let's do a couple more quick stops. I'm going to make our radio call. Okay. Uh, you got it? Yeah. There you go. Okay. Hey, we're Tower. Helicopter Niners here at Hotel Request Zulu between Echo and Foxtrot for Hover Work. Helicopter Niners here at Hotel Hover Work between Echo and uh, Foxtrot approved. Or two between Echo and Foxtrot. Nice zero to All right, go take me down to the other end. All right, clear left. All right, so. If you remember from last time, our steep approach to start off with moving ourselves to an air taxi, so about 40 feet and 40 knots. Uh, we'll count it down. We'll say three, two, one, quick stop. Uh, when we do that, we'll flare the helicopter, so we'll bring the nose up with the cyclic, push the collective down to prevent ballooning. You know, let's stop ourselves here. And uh, we'll use the pedals as required. We'll be right pedals start out with just to keep the nose straight. As you lose that airspeed and you start to come close to a stop, you want to level the helicopter 
you know, you want to level and be at ETL, that 1624 knot range, somewhere in there. And you give a little up collective, a little left pedal just to slow that rate of descent. And you fly a steep approach down towards the ground. And on these steep approaches, let's just practice, continue to practice that going all the way to the ground. All right. Okay, uh, so we're just doing hard work, so I don't need to call. That is correct. All yeah, right. we, we own the taxiway here, so we can do as much as we want back and forth. All right, there's your 40 feet, there's your 40 knots. Give me some down collective to level out. All right, and three, and two, hey, one. Here. Stop. Uh, so nose comes back, collective left, goes down, left, looking we'll great. Little up collective, just a little bit. Now level here, feel those vibrations, so level. Don't let yourself stop. Because you want to be tracking Bravo, forward, see that steep approach. So don't pull back, you feel me pushing forward. Early. There we go. A little bit slower here. And once you're close to the ground, you can slow down. And just keep it moving downwards. Keep it moving down. A little bit slower. Keep it moving down. Power plot keep going down. Here, Don't stop. Of, uh, keep going down. To left. There we go. There six Bravo Sierra Hayward Tower. So don't stop. Keep, just keep moving down. Right. If your helicopter's stopping, then you're not pushing it up down collective. Right. So the very ha the the first half of the quick stop was excellent. Uh, you flared. You didn't balloon. Uh, you started slowing that down. Airspeed down. But then you didn't level at the end when you needed to. You felt yourself coming to a complete stop. You don't want to come to a complete stop because that's setting yourself up for a potential vortex ring state situation. Bravo, if here, you wind two zero quickly zero after that. Runway two eight left at Zulu. Do you need to level before I get to ETL? Left at Zulu. You'll have to start leveling before you get to oh, okay, ETL because right. you want to level and be at ETL. Okay, okay. Because I think I was waiting for ETL. Okay. All right. Okay, so we'll go back the other way. Yeah. Well, yeah, do we well, winds turn are, around and back up? Yeah, winds are calm. We can do both directions. Okay, so should I go down to Fox Track? Yeah. Here, contact our cow departure. Over to North Cow, Bravo Sierra. Keep that nose straight for me. There we go. And we'll get 40 and 40, and then lead it in with a little down collective just to level out. And let's quick stop in three. Two, one. It's gonna be down collective, nose back. Excellent. Slow down. Now at level. Hey, you can want to feel those vibrations on your way down. That's perfect. Now let's gently walk towards the ground. And just slow down gently here. Slow down and keep going down. So you're feeling on the controls, just helping out. So this is what we want to see right here all the way down. So once you're in the hover, you can start to slow down just a little bit. It won't be too much, but you do continue all the way down. So don't pull that collective and make yourself stop. Keep uh, moving the collective down as you get closer to ground effect. Okay. All right, I'll go over to Echo. All right. Quick stop look great. Okay, thanks.
All right, ready to go. All right, again? Yeah, go for it. Okay. So you'll feel once you're up at 40 and 40, yeah. you'll need down collective to level out, otherwise you'll just continue to either climb or accelerate. There you go, perfect. You disc yourself just a little faster. And three, two, one, quick stop. So back right down, flare it, flare it, flare it. Now you can level. Feel those vibrations, yep. just walk it forward right at those vibrations. Awesome. Now slow down a little bit, you feel yourself stopping more in a oh. ground effect. Okay. So you need to push down collective as the ground effect tries to stop you. There you go. So that's what you want to see, is just keep it moving forwards and down. Okay. Uh, ground effect gets stronger the closer you get to the ground, so you'll feel it start to slow you down. And obviously you don't want to slam into the ground, so you do want to slow you down a little bit. But you will have to continue to push the collective down bit by bit to get the helicopter to keep moving downwards and forwards. Okay. And you want a little bit of forward because you want to keep the Just like a, like a walking Just pace a, forwards. Okay, all right, all right. Okay, so, uh, yeah, because I was thinking I was... So ideally, you come to a stop when you hit the ground. Yeah. Yeah, well, assume that you're in brownout condition, so you won't be able to see very much. You just want to gently move oh, forward. okay. So you're just continuing forward, and then at some point, you're going to be on the ground. Yeah. So you don't really want to know when you're going to be on the ground. You're just coming in slow and forward. Pretty much, yeah. Okay. Yeah, just keep it, keep it working it forwards. Um... Because you, uh, yeah, assume that you won't have a perfectly clean set down. So the safest way to do that is just to, you know, walk it on forwards. Okay. All right, go and give me a pickup. We'll do one more. speed and bring it forwards to the ground. There you go. So just keep slowing down, but bring it forwards to the ground and steady. Keep pushing down, push down, push down, push down, push down, push down, and all the way down. There you go. So you feel that's what you need there. It's just it's a little down, 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 down as you keep going through ground effect. Okay. Uh, and that's it. Nice job. Okay, thanks. All right, go ahead and pick me up. Let's we'll go practice. down to... Nah, we can stay here. Okay. We'll move on. Let's practice a couple odd rotations. Okay. Oh, before we do that... Yes. How, when you when when you come into the... the before, right before you flare, uh -huh. and you're pulling up on the collective... How much are you pulling up on the collective to it engage is the correlator? About that much. Okay. So up... Maybe an inch. Like, like, yeah, maybe an inch. A little nudge. 
it doesn't take a lot. You'll, you'll, you'll get a feel for it. Right. Lights out top of the green, green the green, fuel. Go from here or from start Charlie? Yeah, just make your call and request left close traffic spot Charlie. We can take off from wherever. Alright. Here, Tyler Helicopter 479 Sierra Hotel, left traffic spot Charlie. Top down or Sierra Hotel, make left traffic spot Charlie, clear for takeoff, clear to land. Clear takeoff, clear to land, left traffic spot Charlie, 479 or Sierra Hotel. Just a little bit lower, down to 600. Yeah, there it is, pulled collective to level out. It doesn't have to be that much down collective to get the descent going. But do keep your airspeed looking for 60 to 70. All right, let's do your downwind checks. All right, lights out, top of the green. Clear the fuel and car feed. Full yeah, let's give some uh, nose forwards here. I notice when you look down to do the car beat, you usually have the nose pull climb. Back. Yeah, yeah, let's hold that cyclic right in the same spot. Let's give some down because we are higher than our pattern altitude. Let's drop down to 600. There we go. Now we'll just make our turn here, holding about 660, 70 knots. Get everything nice and steady and stable. And let's enter in three, two, one. So we're gonna push full down, roll off that throttle. So everything's nice and split, looking good. A little up collective here just to check that RPM. Doesn't take a lot, I think that was a little too much. Good back down a little bit, otherwise you'll see it start to trend downwards right there. There we go. Keep it walking forwards, 60 knots. Right here, a little up collective. You felt that was it, doesn't take oh, much at all. It. And then flare, 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 level and pull. And come to a hover. So level just a little bit sooner at the end there so that you, uh, you come to a hover without sliding backwards. Runway 28 right, run up, ready for takeoff, CFR. Right All right, look good. So your check up initially to catch the RPM was just a little bit more than you did. You saw that it started to bring the RPM back down. So you need to touch it though. Yeah, it doesn't take a lot. And then to engage the correlator, it really is just a little tug. It hardly takes anything. Okay, I'm going to back up a little bit. Yeah. Runway 28 right, stay below 1,500 feet for past the three rockets. Have a Juliet Delta. Tower 41 Kilo November, inbound RNAV 28 left. Houston 41 Kilo November, Hayward Tower, runway 28 left, clear to land. Clear to land, 28 left, 1 Kilo November. Wind 260 at 7. Either way works as long as we know there's nothing behind us. I took a look before we were moving. All right. 
right, let's do another. All right. Here we're telling our helicopter 479 Sierra Hotel, spot Charlie left, traffic spot Charlie. Helicopter 9 Sierra Hotel, spot Charlie clear for takeoff, clear to land. Clear takeoff, clear to land, left traffic spot Charlie, 479 Sierra Hotel. Center right, train left. You are clear. Nice job with the attitude of the right base. 2 Sierra, from the on a right crosswind to the north, Cessna. We'll be looking for traffic. Cessna 7, Julia Delta, traffic inbound on a right base entry, Cessna. So we have to lower the clock to that for traffic. 7, Julia Delta. So we keep that nose where it is. If you let it come up in the turn, you'll see yourself lose airspeed and climb. All right, everything is all set. 60 to 70, 600. Let's enter in three, two, one. Let's push full down. There's our roll off and a little up collective. Perfect. So it's holding 60 to 70, RPM in the green on the way down. A little down collected for RPM. Don't let that nose come up. Keep the nose where it is. You're losing airspeed. Keep going forwards. Here you go, a little up collective. Start that flare, 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 level, and pull. There you go. Okay. And level before you slide backwards. All right, I got car heat down for you. Gonna take me back to spot Charlie. So that looked good. Um, you did a, a pretty good job holding the RPM airspeed. Uh, we saw That's RPM a Delta got just a little bit low one time. And, uh, two miles uh, that just had to do with, again, having the collective a little bit higher than you needed it for that checkup. You made two movements when you checked the RPM, a first small one, which is a little bit too small, and then a second bigger one, which then went, which was over ground traffic, no factor. Uh, but you can just keep, keep adjusting collective as you need to, and it works we pretty well. And then don't let that nose come up. I felt you pulling it back on the side clip November. on our way down, which bled Get our right airspeed down to 55 knots to lower the right. flare. And That's still plenty of airspeed due to flare, as you saw, but eight it's eight most right comfortable from 60 knots. 28 right and alpha. Are you, are you, are you going to be able to keep more than 60 knots, or usually not? Here, runway two eight left do whatever airspeed you want. And make left close traffic. No reason why you can. Oh, okay. All right. Um, you just you'll find that like if you were trying to descend it, you know, 100 knots, you would be descending quickly, but you could hold 100 knots. Oh, okay. Some I've never down actually fast. done it before, so I don't know. Maybe you can't, but you, know, you can. You can very easily bring your airspeed up to whatever you want you know, within reason. Just like pushing the nose tip yeah, forward. It, yeah, exactly. It flies exactly the same. Okay. You just are stuck in the descent is all. Wind check. Wind 290 at 5. All right. Go again? Yeah, let's do one more. Hey, Tower Helicopter 479 Sierra Hotel, spot Charlie left, traffic, spot Charlie. Hook up 9 Sierra Hotel, spot Charlie, clear for takeoff, clear to land. 
Clear take off, clear land, left traffic, spot Charlie, 47902. Just a heads up, there's uh, traffic in the south pattern of the helicopter, first spot, Charlie. Good to see you, everybody. Helicopter Niner Sierra, tell traffic will be in the south pattern for 28 left, Cessna. Look at me, traffic, Cessna. 47 Niner Sierra. should be perfect. Just let it sit, see where it wants to go. Maybe a little bit more down. There we go. Hold 60 to 70. A little bit more down collective. There we go. A little up right here. Gentle flare. Now flare a little bit more. More and more. Pedal stay straight. Now level and pull. There we go. All right, so you felt there was a little bit of wind shear at the that like 200 foot area. Yeah. That resulted in a loss of RPM, but we can adjust for that just by moving the collective back, and we can saw it. Oh, yeah. It's pretty easy to gain back. You can also burn airspeed if you need to bring RPM back. You know, you can get a little touch back on the cycle, and it'll shoot it right back up where you want it. Oh. Okay. Um, but in general, you don't have to do that. I got a carb heat down. Nice job of holding that airspeed. Right at, no, that 60 to 65 is perfect. Uh, 60 to 70 is our target range. And then a um, uh, little bit up collective, start that flare. And then you leveled and pulled. And we looked really good. Didn't slide back this time, which I really like. Just kind of level and you know, gently bring to a stop. All right. I think that we're looking pretty good. How are you feeling for the day? Good. Cool. Tell you what, let's go ahead and make left close traffic for Meridian. All right. To back up, probably. Yeah, you're doing all right here. You have max performance if you want. Oh, So when I make a call, is he going to clear me to take off and then clear Land Meridian, or, or he might give that as a separate? No, but he can sometimes say, okay, clear, we'll take off. Oftentimes he'll give you the, the Meridian landing clearance later. But just basically just listen to what he says and uh, read it back as two separate items. So it's the takeoff clearance and landing clearance, just two different right. things. 
Here at Carolina Helicopter 479 Sierra Hotel, spot Charlie. Of course, left traffic to Zulu will be mirrored in. Stand by for the party. Stand by Traffic in the upwind is assessed for meeting a left closed traffic. Make left closed traffic for Texas Wazoo Beam Meridian. Spot Charlie, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, left traffic, spot Charlie, 4790. Okay, so he did not give landing clearance. So that is correct. So we we're going to have to wait and watch for that. Yeah. He'll give it to us when we're in the downwind, otherwise we'll. Um, Do I have to say anything about the traffic, the Cessna? When unless I'm he told, back. Unless he, 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 did he tell you? Yeah, he said Cessna yeah, you say traffic. traffic in sight. Okay. That's two three Sierra, only two left, clear for the option. Clear for the option, two left, for the share. Helicopter 9 Sierra Hotel, taxiway Zulu will be Meridian, clear to land. Clear to land, taxiway Zulu will be Meridian, 479 Sierra There we go. All right. Go All right, let's there. do that downwind check. All right, lights out, top of the green, three in the green, fuel, car feed, full and full car feed. All right. And yeah, we can start that descent because we are going to have uh, that modified approach. So you see how far you you uh, you sink downwards if you bring yourself to a stop high up. Yeah. Yeah. So just bring yourself down lower before terminating to the hover. All right. Go take me to the ramp. And we'll park. We'll park just on this side of the cones.
Was that? A little bit of a crosswind. Yeah. Not too bad, though. Not much. Before you put the frictions on, bring your throttle Roll down. Throttle down. Okay, bring it outside. Start the clock or are you just watching? Yeah, we'll just go. It was uh, 103.40. Okay. Roll down. November, be ready at the end. Uh, we want a red crosswind via fire. Citation 4 on Kilo November, Roger, stand by driving on the morning traffic track. Morning, Jeremy. What kind of RC helicopter do you use to fly? I had, oh, what was the name of it? This is a long time ago. It, that was, it's been a couple years since I last flew it, but yeah. It was the Blade oh, okay. something or other. Okay. It was that. It's blue. I forget <laughs> what it is. <laughs> big? Not that big. Not that big. Okay. It had the... Like the 230 -ish. Yeah, I forget. I feel like it had a, a, like a name. It wasn't like a specific thing. I forget. Uh, but it was the one. Oh, like the. I don't know. It has it has like the collected the, like the MPX something. Like yeah, that. it has like the regular collective. Yeah. Um, but the the tail rotor is just a the motor. A, a motor. Yeah. Oh, okay. So it's like that in between point. So MPCP or something like that. MCP or something. Like that. Yeah. Who knows? Yeah. It's been that was, too long. I can't that was remember. A long time ago. I've still got it, I just haven't done anything with it in forever. I did one kill in November, right cross from departure approved, below 1,500 feet, so east of three crosses, from we need 28 left, clear for takeoff. 28 left, clear to takeoff, and stay below 1,500, so east of three crosses, one kill in November. Two three Sierra traffic departing runway two eight left is a citation when able to pull down. Yeah, looking good. Yeah. 